Let me take you on a trip. Just a simple journey. A journey full of sound and beats. And if you know the rest of these lyrics, you are probably also into tribal house music. Therefore, this video is exactly for you. We are going to take a closer look into the origins of African percussions in dance music by asking the question, what was the first tribal dance track in history? Which is a dumb question, it's just like asking when was the first time men played drums. So instead of that, let's just call this video History of Afro House, 10 tracks you should know, let's go. First on our list is Candido Camero. He is considered a pioneer of Afro-Cuban jazz and an innovator in conga drumming. He was responsible for the development of tunable conga sets as well as the combination of congas and bongos at the same kit. Other instruments such as the foot-operated cowbell was actually invented by him also. Moving to New York in 1946, Camero played with Dizzy Gillespie, Billy Taylor and Stan Kenton and in, from 1956 he recorded several albums as a leader. His biggest success came in 1979 with this disco recording recording for Sal Sol. Every house and disco DJ knows Candido's music. Thousand Fingers Man and Jingle are New York club scene classics, tracks that are still getting reissued and remixed till this day. If we are counting down a list that focuses on modern age club culture, I would suggest Candido to be our first pick. Here's Candido, Thousand Fingers Man. 1986 Mafum Bay by Culture Vibe is the earliest famous house record to future African vocals. Therefore, I'm not completely sure that it fits the definition of percussive house music. The rhythm section of this record is completely straightforward, stripped down electronic drum machine. If you play the instrumental version of this record, you realize that there's nothing really tribal or African about this track besides its vocals. But in every article referring to the history of tribal house music, you cannot avoid its present. Mafum Bay is a beautiful deep house classic associated with Tony Humphrey's Zanzibar Club residency of early 90s New Jersey. This mixture of African vocals and deep carriage house by Humphreys will appear in this list again. But for now, our second pick is of course Mafum Bay by Culture Vibe. <laughs> Number 3, No Smoke Coro Coro 1989. The very first tribal house record was made possibly by a Jamaican rapper. Fred MC Pablo AK No Smoke moved from Ghana to London in the 80s to work at Addis Ababa Studios in London, where a lot of obscure yet super dope music came about. Coro Coro is one of the most recognized drum loops in house music history. Its infectious groove was embraced heavily by New York DJs and producers like Lee Louis Vega and Junior Vasquez. It was resampled and reused in dozens of tribal house records since then. I'm still not sure if this record is the source of this drum line. If any of you guys know an earlier record with this drum loop, please let me know. Even though 1989 sounds early enough for a timeless piece like this to be released, here's... Number 4 on our list is Paradise Presents Africali, Out of the Jungle 1990. This is another New York house producer and record label. It's an easy street record single from 1990. Check out Out of the Jungle by Nelson Paradise Roman with Afrikili or Afrikali on vocals. Check this out. Number 5 on our list, Bang the Drums LP by Push Pull. This New York House masterpiece was originally released in 1990. It is produced by the same guy responsible for the Dream to Science project. Again, to be completely fair, this has as almost as much deep house elements as tribal or afro house. But in this track specifically, you can feel a hint of that much more loose percussive groove that New York House DJs will be known for 10 years from now. This album was digitally remastered not long ago by the great team of Rush Hour that also reissued it on limited vinyl edition. You can also find it on all streaming platforms and I urge you to do so because this is a brilliant album. Check out Bang The Drums LP by Push Pull. Number 
Number six, Difference by Dejum Dejum. While New York is busy with Deep House, England's own progressive house music is starting to take shape as well. This 1990s single is actually a left field production, a nice tribally trancey breakbeat tune that was heavily played by Dave Sim and Sasha Digwood and all other UK DJs. This is the Jom the Joms difference from 1990. Check it out. Number eight, Sound Clash Republic. 1991. This is a track that I never heard before I decided to make this video, so this is a pretty cool one. According to Discogs, Fabio Borazzo is the name behind Sound Clash Republic, a name that sounds Italian even though all of his releases are on English labels actually. So this Fabio guy released a whole album in 1991 titled The Birth of Shiva Shanti, which as you can guess by the name is a new age tribal trance kind of album which sounds very interesting nowadays. So check out this track from 1991. Number 9, ZAM Africa Free 1991. So this next record on our list definitely has the coolest artwork of them all. Here's a photo of Nelson Mandela and his wife Winnie on their wedding night in 58, hiding the fact that this record is actually produced by Italian production team in Rome. Italo disco music had a few attempts to fuse Afro-tribalism elements. A lot of them were pretty bad to be honest, but not this one though. Check out Africa Free by ZAM. Last on our list is my favorite house record of all time. Yes, I have a one favorite of all time pick. Awa De by Joe Clossel's Instant House Project. Joe deserves a whole YouTube series about his musical legacy, but for now we are focusing just on one track. Based on a bassline sample from a 1980s Italian disco singer Macho and features a heavy djembe solo percussion followed by iconic sex synth solo, Awade has infectious groove to it. It is tense and bumpy as techno, yet soulful as disco. It is the greatest track of all time. 